Hi, Colin Solder here, and today we'll address some concerns that arose after my multimeter probe test. Huge thanks to Banggood for making this video possible. Referral links to all the stuff used are in the description. First, we'll test the actual current capabilities. For that, we'll use this DC power supply set to the maximum current of 15 amps. Without any further measurements, we can already see the internal resistance causes a voltage drop that will make measurements useless. For high currents like that, it will be better to use high gauge crocodile cables like the ones I made a few videos ago. Still, to verify the theoretical possibility, I made a simple connector and wired the cables in series, measuring the temperature with a thermocouple. After a while, it stabilizes around 75 degrees Celsius, hot but not melting. So high current capabilities? Technically passed, practically useless. With that out of the way, we get to the fun part, high voltage. Can those probes really withstand a thousand volts? At first I tried to use the high voltage module supplied by Banggood, while it produced really nice sparks getting any quantifiable results proved impossible. Fortunately, the amazing people over at Gotronic agreed to lend me a professional insulation resistance meter, huge thanks to them. Armed with this high quality tool, we can proceed to finally make some science. I picked some other cables for comparison, thus we'll be measuring the stock Unity probes, the Chinese probes we are testing, the high current cables I made before, and the cables shipped with the cheapest multimeter I could find anywhere. As for the tests themselves, I arbitrarily decided to measure the resistance of the cable insulation itself and immersed in water, plus the resistance of the conductor to aluminum foil wrapped around the handle to imitate a hand holding it. Each test was repeated three times with the lowest result used. After around an hour of work, I had two sheets of results. Without further ado, let's see what we got. First the clamp test, the biggest surprise of the run for me is the silicone wire, above a thousand gigaohms on every range. The Unity probes caught the worst, though still would be safe to hold even at the full 5kV. Immersion test went similarly, with the stock probes at the bottom again and the silicone cable at the top. As for the foil test, the crocodile cable scored really bad, probably because of the super thin insulation over the crocodile clip itself. All the other probes were far into the gigaohm range. To exceed the pain threshold of 1 mA at 5000 volts, we would need a resistance below 5 mega ohms. No cable got anywhere close to that in any test, which to be honest was quite a disappointment. This still does not mean that all those cables are safe for measuring high voltages. Please do not risk your life to save a few dollars and just get something actually certified for the voltages you intend to use it with. Furthermore, wear, damage and external conditions could make the conductivity higher. To finally test the probes, I decided to do a real hands-on measurement. As you can see, it is possible to put 1000 volts through them and not die. High voltage passed flawlessly, though I still wouldn't trust them with anything higher than mains voltage. Thank you for watching. If you like or dislike the video, you can let me know below. Tell me what else would you like to see on the channel and subscribe to see more fun stuff.